helping involve the student in the process of learning. So when I started to explain to the students what we had to do in fourth grade, I actually, one time I did a four or five combo. And when I did four or five combo, it forced me to be more allegiant to the kids than the content because I, it was two full grade levels of lots of standards and curriculum. And so I just put it out there to them and said, here's what fourth graders are kind of supposed to be learning about. And here's what fifth graders are supposed to be learning about. Do you see any of these things that we can connect and learn together? Are there certain things that we need to do separate? And so basically, um, we kind of cleaned the garage together, if you will. Mm -hmm. What are we going to keep? What are we going to research more? And what are we going to let go of? Um, and that helped me as a teacher sort kind of prioritize the so much that I felt like I had to give to the kids and that was my responsibility, but I, I didn't do it alone. I activated the kids and, and when you can form the question, you can get help from any kid, even if they're a five-year-old, even if they're a two-year-old, if you mm -hmm. can form the question um, as, a, as a teacher and say, here's what I'm trying to figure out, what can we do about that? Uh, and you, of course, you have your teaching partners and things like that to help with that as well. And you try to get some of that organized. But I, I just guess involve the learner in the lesson planning. And you'd be surprised at how, how wonderful that is. The, the, so like when I hear the term backwards design, right? A lot of people use that terminology backwards design. And they're really referring to uh, designing from the curriculum and, and kind of like, you know, kind of what are your objectives, things like that. But I think when you're talking about backwards design, you're like actually start with the student and move backwards from there, right? Like there's ways you can understand your student and then tie the curriculum, right? Exactly. So like you can't just say, like I would never say to a Precisely. school, ignore the curriculum because that's easy for me to say as an outsider while you all lose your job, right? Like I'm not, there's a reality of that. Yeah. Like there's expectations that you have, you know, that you signed up for and whether you like it or not, like I don't want to encourage people not to do their job but it's really kind of understanding our students. That's why I talk about the notion of innovate inside the box and, and as something is really important.